look at this beautiful glass plate. I made this using the reverse decoupage method, which means everything is done behind or under the glass. Now, on this particular video, I'm going to be using mulberry paper to cover the whole back of the glass, where in the past we have used paint, like you see there. I love doing projects like these. And if you like these fun things, like with the mulberry paper, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the bell for future notifications. Please give me a thumbs up. I'd love a nice comment and share with your friends. Before I show you how to make this beautiful plate, um, I just wanted to point out that, yes, I did pick Christmas prints for this plate, but most important, I'm teaching you a technique in this video. Then you can make these plates for all different occasions, Easter, Mother's Day, birthdays, weddings. Once you know the technique, you can use it for any occasion. Here's the beautiful napkin that I chose, and this is the mulberry paper. Mulberry paper has all of these little threads and filaments running through it, making it very, very elegant. Now, because I'm gonna be doing a reverse decoupage on the plate, I'm actually going to put the napkin on first, and then the mulberry paper is gonna go on top. Here's the glass plate I'm going to be using, and I get this from the Dollar Tree. Now, we're going to be doing what's called reverse decoupage. That means the napkin and the mulberry paper are going to go on the back. So we have to make sure the glass is prepped and ready for the napkin and the mulberry paper. And we do this by using an alcohol pad. So you just take the pad or you can use regular alcohol and cotton balls and just wipe the glass off really well to make sure it's free from any smudges. The next step, this is an optional step where you can put glitter on back of the plate like that. Now I use sprays, um, Glitter Blast is one of the ones I like to use. And this one, which is like a opal shimmer is also really nice um, on back of the glass. But um, Mod Podge also has a glitter version of their Mod Podge, it's called Extreme Glitter. You can use that, but you have to brush it on. Okay. Here's the other beautiful napkin I'm going to be using along with this napkin of the Cardinals. Now, I am not going to be putting the napkin on all in one piece. Instead, I'm going to be using pieces like you see here, but I'm not going to cut them. I'm going to do what's called a softened or deckled edge, and I'm going to show you how to do it because it blends so well into the mulberry paper. We're putting the napkin on that. It wouldn't blend in as well, and this is not hard to do to get this beautiful edge I'm going to show you now. With the decoupage we only use the top printed ply which means we have to remove any of the back plies that are behind that printed ply and we do that with some Mod Podge because you know it's there on the table anyway and I put my Mod Podge into little containers because I buy big containers. So you're just going to take a little bit of the glue, just a little bit, that was probably a little bit too much, and you're going to put it up in the corner and press your fingers together like that. This has two plies, one, two, and just pull them apart gently like that until all you have left is the top ply. Now I'm going to show you how to get that softened edge and I'm going to use water and a fine brush. And what you do is you trace around the image that you want with the brush dipped in water. And what happens is the water weakens the napkin. So you're able to pull it apart like that. And what you end up is with this beautiful softened edge, just like that. Now, there is another product you can use. I love this. It's called a water brush and it has a tube that holds water. Water goes through and feeds through the brush. So it's a lot quicker to do than dipping in and out of the water with the regular brush, but really it's a preference, it's up to you. But you use it the same way. You just trace all the way around the image, in this case, the birds. And as you trim around, you just pull at it like that until the whole piece is done. And there's your cardinals. Here's the other napkin that I chose. I'm going to do the same thing with the water brush. I'm just going to trace around that image and gently pull at it until the whole piece comes off. Now I'm going to be using these two pieces, but a bunch more, which I've already done. Now we're ready to put the napkins on. And remember, we're doing a reverse decoupage, so everything gets put on backwards or upside down. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the one in the middle, the one with the birds, and then all around I have this greenery and these berries. And I'm just kind of laying them out on the glass so I have an idea of where they're going to be when it comes time to glue them down. Then I'm just going to move them off from around the side of the plate. And I'm going to start with the center one, which is the cardinals. And I am using Mod Podge. So I'm going to use a brush. I love an angled brush. They're so good for decoupage. You can tuck the glue in little spots where uh, it was missing. And I'm going to go all around the center, which is where the piece of napkin is going to go with the birds on it. And then I'm going to gently brush down on all of the edges. And when I'm done, I'm going to take a piece of saran wrap and I'm going to smooth with my fingers or you can use um, some napkins bunched up and just go over it to make sure that it's nice and smooth and the saran wrap will protect it. There you go. So now we're ready to go ahead and start to put the other ones on and we do it exactly in the same manner. So I left the little pieces of napkin about where I wanted them. I know things are kind of sliding around, but I have an idea of where it's gonna go. Same thing with the napkin around the edges, the saran wrap just to rub it down. And remember, the saran wrap is going to protect the napkin. So you're gonna go around the plate and you're gonna put all the little pieces on the same way. Now you just wanna make sure when you're decoupaging that there is going to be glue every place where you're placing the napkin down. You don't wanna leave any empty spaces because that's where you could get like wrinkles and bubbles. So it looks like we're almost done. We have one more piece, okay. Now that the napkin is all glued down onto the glass plate, let's take a look at that. And I'm sorry about the glare. Um, glass is so tricky to work with. Um, anyway, so now we're going to do the next step, which is to put the mulberry paper on top of the napkin. Okay, we're ready to apply the mulberry paper, but there's two ways we're not going to use. We're not going to put it in one big piece, nor are we going to cut it. Instead, we're going to be tearing the mulberry paper in all different shapes and sizes, just like I'm doing here. We're ready to put the mulberry paper on and mulberry paper has a smooth side and a fuzzy side. You wanna put the fuzzy side down and I'm going to be using Mod Podge again, putting the Mod Podge right on top of the napkin, but no worries, it's not going to hurt the napkin or anything. Smooth down the mulberry paper and use a little bit of pressure to make sure that it's nice and flat because we're not going to be using saran wrap. The next piece you put down, um, it's kind of like a puzzle. So when you lay the pieces together, like I'm doing there, um, if they fit in, that's really good. Now, having said that, if the mulberry paper does overlap some, it's, it's all right. That's probably one of the beautiful things about this is because of those threads and those little filaments, you're really not going to notice the overlaps. Um, all it does is really make the plate look absolutely beautiful. So you're going to go around the whole plate and do it exactly the same way. What you can do from time to time is to pick up the plate and take a look at it. And if you see any spaces that are missing some mulberry paper, just take a little piece and fill it in so the whole thing is covered. Let's let it dry. The whole plate is done and it's all dry. But before we put our final sealant on it, we have to remove that excess napkin and mulberry paper that's hanging off the edge. Now, normally I would use something like a nail file like this and I do the nail file going down, except with the mulberry paper, it's thicker than the napkin. Nail file's really not going to work. So in this case, have a nice little scissor nearby and just go all the way around the rim of the plate and remove all of that big stuff. Because even though we're removing it with the scissor, I find that there's still gonna be little things that you need to take off with the file. So just take your file and the same thing with a downward stroke. Just go all the way around and you'll see these little pieces like that there are still going to come off and just go around the whole plate until it's nice and cleaned up. And it, there's going to be some spots that are probably going to have to go back in with the scissor that are still going to be a little bit tough to get rid of, to get off like that spot right there. Okay, now we're ready to decide, do we want matte? or gloss. I'm ready to put my sealant on. I am going to use Dora Clear, but I'm not going to use matte. I'm going to use the gloss. Now, you can also use Mod Podge dishwasher safe. You can use that on the back. It takes 28 days to cure, and then it's top rack safe. I'm taking some of my Dora Clear, which I love, and I'm putting it into a little cup, 
and I'm taking a brush, it's a wide brush, and I'm gonna to start to apply it to the back of the plate, just like that. Now, the mulberry paper is thicker, so you just wanna make sure that you get it into all of the fibers, just like I'm doing there. But I'm going to give you another tip. When you're putting the varnish on these glass plates, it's a really, really good idea to put something underneath it. Yeah, you know, like a piece of wax paper, duh. But there, I got it now, and I can finish doing up the plate and go all the way around. Now, when you're done going all the way around, let it completely dry, and then you can go in and do two, three, four, however many coats you want till it's smooth. We're back in the studio, and I just wanna give you a quick look at these two plates that are just absolutely perfect for spring, and they have the mulberry paper on the back, just like the Christmas ones. I want to show you a couple other plates I made in addition to the ones with the cardinals. And by the way, I get all of my beautiful napkins from Vippy's Designs, www.vippies.com, including that beautiful wreath. It's so pretty. I, this glass plate came out so nicely with those beautiful birds and the mulberry paper using the reverse decoupage method and Mod Podge. If you love projects like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Decoupage DIY with Joan Marie Domino. Hit the little bell so you'll get future video upload notifications. Give me a thumbs up, a comment, share with your friends, and visit me on my Facebook page.